Hi guys, Vex here. Welcome to episode 40 of my Uncharted Territory 2 Let's Play. Um, before we properly start this episode, I remember there was a uh, a chest down here in this lava lava pit area. So I have tunneled down here to uh, try to find out what this chest is, and suddenly skeletons just popped up. It's kind of interesting, and they have fire resistance on them. And they appear to want to melee me. Well, that's not going to work. Uh, lacer Ooh, a l oh, it says Lacerator level 4. That's really cool. Uh, let's go see if... There we go. Um... Ooh, Sharpness 4, Knockback 2, Fire Aspect 2, Unbreaking 2 which is useless in looting too. Actually the looting part makes it really good for my grinder. Um, tell you what, let me run back to base and put this at my zombie grinder because that looting will come in very handy to further enhance the drops that I get from it. And I will be right back as soon as I make it safely up the staircase and nothing, nothing bad happens uh, here. So let's just make sure I get safely out of here. Uh, I'm glad I cut cut out digging the staircase down because it was uneventful um, and I think what I will do is block it off to make sure no nothing spawns down there and uh, comes up and just here's here and over there is just where I was mining some blocks just because I wanted more blocks in case I needed them for something um, right I'll be right back alrighty uh, we are back and we are off to the quiet my goal for this episode is to uh, Huh. What what should be my goal for this episode? It's well, I guess I'll I'll try to get the wool from the storm area. I talked to Amlop and he said that is indeed a uh, a wool area, as hectic as it is. So let's try for that. I think my strategy is gonna try to preserve my gear, and that will mean to fight as few monsters as I possibly can. And actually. There we go. A little bit loud. So I'm going to just run past, I think, and I will drop torches on the way, but I'm not going to be fighting stuff. Because I want to save all the durability. And this area is not vital for anything. Uh, Amlop even uh, said, I, I believe, that he wouldn't even care if I invisibility potioned through it. Um, he doesn't, is kind of cool towards, and I mean cool is in not that thrilled, not like, oh dude, that's cool, bro, but, uh, the more traditional version of cool. Um, towards invisibility potions. Uh, I'm kind of curious about them. I sort of have an idea, maybe... I might try making areas designed around them. I have a, I have some ideas for uh, having areas built with invisibility potions in mind, including ways of. Um, okay, uh, another speed on my bar. Okay, we made it safely through the quiet and used minimal a minimal amount of resources to do so. Now we're back here at the storm. Now, I had some trouble with this area. I think night vision is going to help make sure I can see everything that's going on in here. Um, and I'm going to try and... Amlip said this area ought to be really easy. Or not that huge of a problem. Uh, he didn't seem to think it was a big deal. Uh, so, all right. Uh, let's try it again, I guess. Um, and I'll try and run through again. He said that you should be able to run through it. Uh, either do that or methodically go through it and light it up. Uh, what am I... Oh. So... Let's see if I can... No, zombies are coming now. 
because of the uh, the AI they have. Let's if I can try and take out the skeletons, I'll have an easier time running through here. Uh, so there is a wool here, and he said it should be really easy to see. So apparently, I just missed it. Um, tell you what, let me snipe that creeper way up there, and I will uh, try tossing a pearl up to that pillar. Yeah. All right. And I don't think I'm in range of any spawners uh, up here. This appears safe. Okay, I see glass over there. And there's a ton of... There's a bunch... Wow. Uh, okay. There's a ton of spawners in the way. Um... Uh, Alright, we got six minutes. I think that should be fine. Okay. So... Yeah, definitely, coming up here was definitely a good idea. Uh, I'm kind of... I probably should have done so at the beginning because attacking from the top down is usually a good strategy. Uh, although, obviously, you want to stay away from the walls here because he's, he's politely discouraged me from trying to climb around on the walls, it looks like. Uh, so now I can see this area a bit better. All right, so we got... I don't know if I can reach that distance with just one pearl. That seems a little on the far side. Uh, could give it a shot, though. All right. Let's use some more potions. And uh, let's give the pearl a try. Let's try and... I think a 45 degree... 45 degree angle ought to be the longest possible distance I can cover with a pearl. Oh, and we're here. Oh, good! Charged creeper spawners. I think we found the wool. Oh, man. Okay. Oh, we're going down. I don't want to go down. Ooh, ow. Wow, I'm getting, like, knocked all over the place. Uh, that's the problem I was having my first time in here. I just keep getting knocked around, and I don't have a chance to think or do anything. Uh, kind of makes me want knockback resistance. Uh, okay, I took that out. I'll have to get rid of those. Okay. Ooh. Ow. He really, uh... He's covered this place in spawners. Uh, now, the thing about... I used uh, some wide area spawners in Inferno Mines, and Amlip doesn't like them. But I'm basically doing the same thing, is to have enemies constantly spawning in the entire room. Uh, by expanding the range at which the creatures can spawn further away from the single spawner, you get the same result without having to spam spawners all over the place like he's done here. Um. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's try and get into... Oh, is this... Ow. Oh, we've, we're in the fleecy box. Okay. Ah, green wool. Great. Alright, we've got our green wool. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Ow. Uh, there are creeper spawners inside the walls here. I'm pretty sure I saw one. Yep. So, basically, looks like creepers will spawn in here the longer I stay in here. So I should just probably hurry up and go. Um... Let's see... 
think I'm at risk of getting knocked around as soon as I try to come up. So what I want to do is something like this. And now I can... Uh, let's run for it. Okay, and pearl to there. And there we go, okay. Well, that worked a little bit better. Uh, probably a fresh a fresh set of uh, armor that wasn't already broken by the time I got here uh, was a good idea. That definitely helped, because by the time I got here last time, I had used up a lot of my durability on my weapons and armor coming through the quiet. And this time I made sure to not use up any of my durability. I just ran past the quiet. Um, so that definitely helped. All right, now we just got to get out of here. Uh, okay. So we have a large stone area here. It's, uh, big stone ramp. Okay. More stone and coal. Uh, Amlip said that he came back and put these tower things in here to make the place look a little more like it had some more stuff going on because it's basically just a big uh, stone cave, more or less. Um, so that was a, that was probably a good idea. Um, Because, yeah, otherwise, without the towers, yeah, I see what you mean. It's just a big stone cave with some glowstone on the roof. Um, mm, yeah. Yeah, definitely needed some more more stuff. Because uh, I had, like, my rough cut uh, first version of Inferno Mines with just the, basically the terrain with no decoration. Uh, like, even Outer Darkness still had the giant area with all the vines and stuff and uh it still had the 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 scenic views out over the lava and all the lava coming down uh at the at the cliffs area <clears throat> and that was just uh that was just a airbrush into sandstone pretty much um, and then randomized a little bit. Okay, we have green wool. Uh, we need to go... I don't need that, or that, or that, or that, or that. So I'll leave that there. And that is the quiet and the storm conquered. Um, cool. Man, having armor that's not broken, uh made a nice difference there. Uh, I think just about anything can be solved by going, uh... Well, remember kids, it's not actually hard work that pays off. You just have to, you know, you want to be like Lance Armstrong and shoot yourself up with a bunch of chemicals. That'll, and I mean, not chemicals, potions. We call them potions in this game. Yes, magical potions. That'll give you the edge you need to to win. Wait, this is a crazy messed up message to be sending, isn't it? It's not, you know, hard work. It's just glue some pieces of metal to your body and then, you know, eat a bunch of chemicals and then you win. That's what makes you win. Um, that's, wow. I'll never be able to look at avatar strength in video games <laughs> the same way again. Uh, that's so wrong. That is so dark. All right, I'll meet you guys back at the monument. Alrighty, we're back in front of our monument. Um, so, here is the green wool. And we got that from the... Uh, got a little got a little idea here. Hang on, hold, hold, uh, give, me, give me a second. Uh, give me a second to put this together for you. Uh... And we got that from the green wool. Get the green wool here from the storm, as in storm clouds up in the sky. Yeah, clouds up in the sky. See? Um. 
the fuck? Get out of here. How did you get in my base? Man. I'm trying to do stuff. I'm trying to have a ceremony. I'm trying to light up my success. This is my victory here. This is me winning. Alright. Done. Um, can I put it on here? Can I put it at the bottom of the... and hang, make it hang down? Uh, I'll put it up here. Uh, the storm clouds. Done! Light it up. Yes! Yes! Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks brilliant. That is a good... That is the storm. The clouds up in the sky. But I was the calm during the storm. And I got through there. Um, Amblip, you can't stop me. Your, your map is slowly crumbling before me. Uh, despite massive spawner spam. But, you know, that's, that's okay. I'm sure if you had access to wide area spawners, you would have used them there and went with a lot fewer spawners and had monsters spawning more evenly throughout that, that cavern. Uh, <clears throat> what did I pick up? Oh, power one. All right, cool, cool. All righty, so... So, yeah, I think that's it for this episode. That was... uh, we We did that. We did pretty well there, I have to say. So, I I am a fan of success. I like that. Alright guys, so that was uh, Vex being the calm inside the storm. And thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you guys next episode. Until then, take it easy. Oh, yeah. Damn. I must really like parkour. I jump around my base like a goddamn gerbil.